hello students good day and welcome back to this channel once again in today's video we are going to continue our lesson on the laws of probability we have a few questions we are going to tackle those questions now let's start off with question number two the probability that a seed will germinate is 0 0.65 find the probability that a seed selected at random will not germinate we are told that the probability that a seed will germinate is 0 0.65. We are going to find the probability that a seed selected at random will not germinate. Now this is a simple problem. Let's tackle it together. Now let the event that let the event that a seed will germinate be A. So let the event that a seed will germinate be A. Then the event that a seed selected at random will not germinate be A complement. So let the event that a seed will not germinate be A complement, otherwise the complement of A. So from the question, the probability of event A occurring is 0 0.65. So we are going to find the probability that event A will not occur. That is basically what we mean by the probability that a seed selected as random will not germinate. So we are going to find the probability of A complement. Now from the laws of probability, we said that if A is an event, then the probability of A complement is equal to 1 minus the probability of event A. So from this relation, we can substitute the value of the probability of A in here. So that's going to be 1 minus 0 0.65. And then we have 0 0.35 as the answer. So the probability of A complement is 0 0.35. Therefore, the probability... that a seed selected at random will not germinate is 0 0.35 now let's move on to the next question so to question number three, a box contains 20 balls, X of which are white. If the probability of selecting a non-white ball at random is 3 over 5, find the value of X. So we are going to find the value of X. Now let's write down the information that we derive from the question. A box contains 20 balls. So number of balls in the box is 20 x of which are white the number of white balls is x now if the probability of selecting a non-white ball at random is 3 over 5 now before that let's write an expression for the number of non-white balls okay so to find the number of non-white balls we are going to subtract x from 20 okay because we have the number of balls in the box to be 20 the number of white balls to be x now if you want to find the number of non-white balls we need to subtract x from 20 so that becomes 20 minus x now the probability of selecting a non-white ball at random is 3 over 5 so the probability of selecting a non-white ball 
at random is 3 over 5. Now we are going to find the value of x. Okay. Now how do we approach this question? We are told that the probability of selecting a non-white ball is 3 over 5. Now the probability of selecting a non-white ball is equal to the number of non-white balls divided by the total number of balls in the box. Okay. So we have this value to be 3 over 5. So we are going to substitute 3 over 5 in here equals the number of non-white balls is 20 minus x. So this becomes 20 minus x divided by 20. Of course, the total number of balls in the box is 20. Now we can cross multiply. Okay. So when we cross multiply, we have 20 times 3 equals 5 times 20 minus x. Now we can divide through by 5. Okay. 5 goes into itself once into 20 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 goes into itself once into 5 once. We have 1 times 20 minus x which is still 20 minus x. Now because we want to find the value of x, we transpose negative x to the left hand side and then we have 20 minus 12 and then the value of x is equal to 8 so this is the value of x now let's move on to the last question for today so for question number four a box contains 15 balls x of them are red a write down the probability of selecting a red ball b when 12 red balls were added the probability of selecting a red ball becomes 5 over 9. Write down an equation for x and solve it. Now let's write down the information that we have from the question. Okay, A box contains 15 balls. So the number of balls in the box is 15 x of them are red so the number of red balls is x a we are supposed to write down the probability of selecting a red ball so the probability of selecting a red ball is equal to the number of red balls over the total number of balls in the box. So that is x over 15. So the probability of selecting a red ball is equal to x over 15. So let's solve for b. When 12 red balls were added, the probability of selecting a red ball becomes 5 over 9. Now when 12 red balls were added, the total number of balls in the box becomes 15 plus 12, okay, and that is 27. So when the 12 red balls were added, originally we had 15 balls in the box. So plus this 12 and then we have 27 balls all together in the box. And then the total number of the total number of red balls in the box becomes initially we had x number of red balls in the box. So that becomes x plus 12 so we have x plus 12 red balls in the box currently now if the probability of selecting a red ball becomes 5 over 9 then we are going to write down an equation for x 
and then solve for x so that's what you are going to do so the total number of balls in the box total number of balls in the box is 27 and the total number of red balls is x plus 12 and the probability of selecting a red ball is 5 over 9 therefore the probability of selecting a red ball is equal to the number of red balls in the box divided by the total number of balls in the box so we have 5 over 9 equals x plus 12 divided by 27 let's cross multiply so this is the equation for x now we can solve for x so we are going to have 27 times 5 equals 9 times x plus 12 now let's divide through by 9 so 9 goes into itself once into 27 3 times 3 times 5 is 15 9 cancels out 9 we are left with 1 1 times x plus 12 is still x plus 12 so we transpose 12 to the left hand side we have 15 minus 12 equals x and then we have x to be 3 so the value of x is 3 so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye